This can be very good news. This is the first step in the right direction. The sale of Passport Health came as welcome news to Councilwoman Barbara Sexton Smith. She represents District 4, where two years ago the healthcare company broke ground on a new headquarters and health campus. But the project at 18th and Broadway was put on hold when the future of Passport's Medicaid contracts with Kentucky was put in doubt. The last thing in the world we need is one more disappointment for the folks that live in and around West Louisville. Molina Healthcare, a California-based company that currently operates in 14 states, will pay $20 million for the passport name, operational and clinical infrastructure, and the West Louisville property. Molina was one of five companies awarded a Medicaid contract by Kentucky in 2020. The company says the acquisition of passport will help maintain continuity of care for the 315,000 people passport currently serves. That one every to be able to continue to see their same doctor, their same nurses, their same medical providers, and hopefully Molina will see the value of that. Molina will have to get regulatory approval before it can begin operating in Kentucky. Sexton Smith says the company does intend to build a headquarters in West Louisville and will allow current passport employees to keep their jobs. She's also hopeful the deal will create new jobs in her district. When you have good paying jobs, good health care, you're going to ultimately have better housing, safer neighborhoods, and that's really what we all want. That's really what this is all about. Denny Camper, WLKY News. Thank you, Denny. Mayor Greg Fisher responded to news of the sale earlier today, saying in a statement, I'm excited to see this smooth transition for the Passport Health Plan members and employees, many of whom are fellow Louisvillians, and I'm thrilled at the prospect of seeing the project at 18th and Broadway proceed.